Greetings everyone! I'm Jessica, and I'm grateful to EPC Land for providing me with this platform to discuss another topic related to the process industry. In my opinion, the most effective way of learning is through question and answer sessions. Throughout this video, we'll be discussing five frequently asked questions related to pipeline engineering. These questions cover a broad range of topics and should help provide you with a comprehensive understanding of pipeline engineering. So, whether you're new to this topic or just looking to expand your knowledge, we're confident that this video will be both informative and helpful. So without further ado, let's jump into the first question. What is pipeline engineering? So, you may be wondering, what exactly is pipeline engineering? Pipeline engineering is a field of engineering that is responsible for the design, construction, and maintenance of pipelines that transport fluids over long distances. These fluids can include oil, gas, water, and other industrial materials. Pipeline engineers are involved in the entire process of creating a pipeline starting with the assessment of the feasibility of the project. They must select the appropriate materials for the pipeline construction, design the pipeline route, calculate pressure and flow rates, and ensure compliance with safety regulations. All of these steps are essential to ensure that the pipeline can transport the fluids safely and efficiently. In summary, Pipeline engineering is a critical field that plays an essential role in the transportation of fluids over long distances. By designing, constructing, and maintaining pipelines with safety in mind, pipeline engineers ensure that these vital resources can be transported safely and efficiently, benefiting industries and communities around the world. Let's proceed to the second question, which is, what are the types of pipelines? Have you ever wondered about the different types of pipelines that are used to transport fluids over long distances? There are mainly three types of pipelines, liquid pipelines, gas pipelines, and multiphase pipelines. Liquid pipelines are used to transport liquids such as crude oil, refined petroleum products, and other liquids. These pipelines are typically made of steel and can be underground or above ground. The liquids are transported through the pipeline using pumps that create pressure and flow. Gas pipelines, on the other hand, are used to transport natural gas, hydrogen, and other gases. Gas pipelines can be made of steel, plastic, or composite materials and are designed to withstand high pressure. Gas pipelines are typically buried underground and are often used to transport gas from production facilities to distribution centers. Finally, multiphase pipelines are used to transport a mixture of liquids and gases. These pipelines are used in the oil and gas industry to transport a combination of oil, gas, and water from production sites to processing facilities. Multiphase pipelines can be challenging to design and operate due to the varying properties of the fluids being transported. In summary, there are three main types of pipelines, liquid pipelines, gas pipelines, and multiphase pipelines. Each type of pipeline has its own unique design and operational challenges, but all play a critical role in transporting fluids over long distances for various industries and applications. The following question on the list is the third one, which is What materials are used to construct pipelines? Pipeline construction requires careful consideration of the materials used to ensure that the pipeline can withstand the operating conditions and transport fluids safely and efficiently. The materials used for pipeline construction can vary depending on the application and operating conditions. The most common materials used for pipeline construction are carbon steel, stainless steel, aluminum, and plastic. Carbon steel is the most widely used material for pipeline construction due to its strength and durability. 
Stainless steel is another common material used for pipelines that require higher resistance to corrosion and high temperatures. For more corrosive environments, high-performance alloys such as nickel alloys, titanium alloys, or copper nickel alloys may be used. These materials have high resistance to corrosion and are often used in pipelines for chemical processing and offshore oil and gas production. Plastic pipelines are becoming increasingly popular due to their resistance to corrosion and low cost. Polyethylene, PVC, and fiberglass reinforced plastic are commonly used materials for plastic pipelines. In summary, the materials used for pipeline construction depend on the application and operating conditions. Carbon steel and stainless steel are the most common materials used for pipelines, while high-performance alloys and plastic pipelines may be used for more corrosive environments. The selection of materials is critical to ensure that the pipeline can transport fluids safely and efficiently. Next up, we have the fourth question. What are the safety considerations for pipeline engineering? Pipeline engineering involves designing, constructing, and maintaining pipelines that transport fluids over long distances. However, safety is of utmost importance when it comes to pipeline engineering. Pipeline accidents, spills, and leaks can have severe consequences, including environmental damage, loss of life, and property damage. Safety considerations for pipeline engineering begin with the selection of appropriate materials that can withstand the operating conditions and minimize the risk of corrosion and failure. Regular inspections and maintenance of pipelines are critical to ensure that any potential issues are identified and addressed promptly. Monitoring for leaks is also essential, as detecting leaks early can prevent further damage and mitigate the potential risks. In addition to these measures, designing pipelines with safety in mind is crucial. Pipeline engineers must incorporate safety features such as valves, pressure relief devices, and leak detection systems into the pipeline design. These features can help prevent accidents and minimize the impact of any incidents that do occur. Finally, ensuring compliance with safety regulations is essential for pipeline engineering. Regulations and standards exist to ensure that pipelines are designed, constructed, and maintained in a safe and responsible manner. Pipeline engineers must adhere to these regulations to ensure the safety of the pipeline and the surrounding environment. In conclusion, safety is a critical consideration for pipeline engineering. Ensuring appropriate materials, conducting regular inspections and maintenance, monitoring for leaks, designing pipelines with safety features, and complying with safety regulations are all essential to prevent accidents and protect the environment. Okay, now let's move to last question of this session. What is the future of pipeline engineering? Pipeline engineering has been an essential field for the transportation of fluids like oil, gas, and water over long distances. As technology continues to advance, the future of pipeline engineering is expected to see significant changes. One of the most significant developments in the future of pipeline engineering is the increased use of automation, robotics, and advanced materials. Automation and robotics can improve the efficiency of pipeline operations by reducing the need for human intervention. This automation can help monitor and diagnose potential issues in pipelines, resulting in faster response times and reduced downtime. Advanced materials, such as composites and nanomaterials, can improve the strength, durability, and resistance of pipelines to environmental factors. Intelligent pipeline systems are also likely to become more common in the future of pipeline engineering. These systems can monitor their own health and diagnose potential problems, allowing for prompt and efficient responses to potential issues. These systems can help identify leaks, corrosion, and other issues before they become significant problems, 
reducing downtime and maintenance costs. The future of pipeline engineering will also focus on efforts to improve pipeline safety and reduce the environmental impact of pipeline operations. New technologies such as pipeline coatings and pipeline monitoring systems can help mitigate environmental risks associated with pipeline transportation. Engineers are also developing new pipeline designs that reduce the potential impact of pipeline leaks and spills. In conclusion, the future of pipeline engineering is promising, with new technologies and materials emerging to improve efficiency, safety, and environmental impact. The use of automation, robotics, and advanced materials, along with intelligent pipeline systems, will likely play a significant role in shaping the future of pipeline engineering. Efforts to improve pipeline safety and reduce the environmental impact of pipeline operations will continue to be a focus for pipeline engineers. And that concludes our discussion on the frequently asked questions related to pipeline engineering. We hope that we were able to provide you with some useful insights and information and that this video has helped clarify any confusion or questions you may have had. If you still have any lingering questions or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment down below. We'll do our best to respond and provide you with additional information. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this.